Today is uh, August 26th, uh, 2022. We are going to um, do some more photos. It's been a while since we've uh, done a Zoom session. I think it's been almost two months. We've been, uh, at least I've been busy during the summer. Um, where we left off, we were looking at lots of photos um, from your past. But I have a question before you, before we show your, before we do the first photo, Grandpa, um, yeah. I got to ask you a question about uh, something that's missing in the photo if I'm seeing right now. What's your missing? glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd your glasses go? <laughs> okay, hold on just a minute. I have a, this meeting is being recorded. Leave, uh, let me click on got it. Yeah, you're good. We're okay. <laughs> Glasses. Okay. Well, here's the story on why I don't have glasses. Uh, first of all, I have uh, uh, macular degeneration. That comes with the age. Almost uh, everybody, if they live long enough, get it. Uh, roughly five or six years ago, I had uh, uh, implants put in my eyes I, for, uh, cater for cataracts. Okay, after I had the implants put in my eye, I had, uh, when I would go to get tested, uh, eye test, I would have 20, 30 or 20, 40 vision. Before that, it was something like 20, 50 or 20, 60. I, I don't remember. Okay, roughly uh, just before I moved in here, uh, I, my right eye went all to hell. I, all I can see out of it was a blur. My left eye was okay, but my right eye wasn't. I went to see an ophthalmologist and he, and she gave me injections of a medication in my right eye. And over the, I can see you now with my right eye, which uh, over the years, whatever she's injecting in it works. Plus I take a medication with something called Allrads 2. Uh, and anyway, the, the, uh, Vision in my right eye now is much is much improved. It's difficult to read with it, but it is better than the blur I had before. Now they tested my right eye, and I didn't re I didn't realize it, but I tested twenty twenty in my right eye. So now I see you very clearly, uh, especially when I close my right eye. But my left my left eye garners most of my vision. So I have better vision uh, without glasses than I do with glasses because my glasses give my eye, left eye a correction, which I don't need anymore. And that's why there's no glasses. <laughs> so on the week of my 99th birthday, I have 20-20 vision. Wow, that, go, <laughs> that's a go go figure. Yeah, that that's uh, <laughs> pretty unusual, I suspect. And you did have yeah. a birthday uh, just over yeah, a week the, ago. The ophthalmologist was surprised she, because she said, "Wow." <laughs> well, well, I'm glad okay. that something's improving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. And, that's, uh, so that's if, if you tell any stories, you can tell your your friends that story. Uh, How long have you had glasses for? How long have you been wearing glasses for? Since I was 44, 43. 44? Yeah, 50, but uh, 55 years, something like that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure. And the way I found out I needed glasses was uh, when I was working at, at Rocket Dine, uh, before I was working in glasses, I was working in, a, in a, an electrical connection box. 
on a test stand of a rocket dime. And what I had to do, I had a work order in which I had to uh, change some electrical connections in the box. And the uh, there's uh, rows of, uh, of connectors to attach wires to, and they are all numbered and the wires are all numbered. And I had an order that I had to change wire number uh, such and such to connect and such and such. And, and what had happened after the electrical box had been put in, they did some major uh, alterations on the stand in which there was a, a, a vertical steel beam put in front of the electrical box, maybe two feet away, just enough room for me to get into the box. And so, so what I had to do was open the box first, the doors wide open, and then uh, slide between the beam and the electrical box. And as I looked at the uh, wire numbers and the connect and the uh, connector numbers, I couldn't see them. I moved back. If, if I could have moved back another half a foot or so, I'd be able to see him because I, uh, I, I knew my vision was getting bad and, and I could see well at a distance, but I couldn't see up close. So that's how I discovered I needed glasses. And I've been wearing glasses ever since um, un, until uh, a week until ago. Until last week. Until a week ago Wednesday. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, shall we okay. go through? Well, that was a good picture. Shall we yeah, yeah, through? this is, I, I was just curious about your glasses and that was a great story about uh, not needing glasses anymore. So uh, yeah, I hope you have a bunch of photos. Um, I, okay. I'd love to see what you okay. have and learn. Okay, this is a picture of Judy and Mark. Your, that's your mother, the little one. Uh, she's roughly, she's standing, so she she learned to walk early. She was walking at 10 or 11 months. She, uh, 10 or 11 months. So she's she's probably somewhere where it's between uh, 13 or 14 months and 18 months in there. Mark is, is two years older, so he's probably three and a half or four years old. That's a great Got photo. It. Got it? Yep, that's a great photo. Okay, let's let's go to the next one. These are in no particular order. That's okay. 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 okay, here. Here I'm standing in the backyard of my house on Lune Place. Are you, you putting it? in a pool at this this point? Okay, <clears throat> that's enough of the picture. Now let me tell you the story of the picture. Uh, sometime in 1962 or 1963, my brother-in-law, uh, Alan Dardanell, we called I called him Dard, and that's the kind of name he, he picked up. He had built a, an extension on his house. And he, one day he came over and asked me uh, why I didn't do it. He said he would help me and uh, all of that. So we draw drew up minimum plans and uh, he came over and we he laid out the whole thing. He, he knew what he was doing. He laid out the whole thing, uh, the uh, footing for the foundations. He knew how to square it up, if you know what I mean, for all that. And uh, he dug the trenches for the 
uh, uh, foundation and all of that. And then as they moved on, when he got the trenches all done, he never came back. So I had to do everything myself. This was in late 62 or 63. And this turned out to be a two year project for me doing myself. Uh, so I, I became an owner contract. I had to learn about building codes uh, and all that. And uh, incidentally, what happened, we started, he built his without a building permit. And I didn't have a building permit for what I had to do. So I had to go down to the uh, building and safety, get a building permit and an inspector came out and he inspected and whatever uh, Dard did was right because he, he approved the, uh, the trenches and we had put up uh, one by six, uh, we had put up forms for pouring the foundation mm -hmm. and the slab. And he did everything right, but he, he, we never took out a building permit. So I had to take out the building permit. Uh, and uh, after that, I had, I did everything myself, uh, except what I, I, I hired a, a handyman, handyman to come in. I uh, had to hire a, a, a plumber. I found a plumber that came in that, uh, to do the plumbing. An electrician came in to do the, the electrical work and a had to hire a bricklayer to uh, put in the chimney. Uh, now, this, this is a, a strange thing. I took out a loan of $3,000. And for $3,000, I got the, and, my, and all my labor, which uh, I, I don't know what kind of value it had but all my labor uh, and materials came out of that. I, 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 I might've been a, uh, a few hundred dollars short, but uh, it took me two years to uh, finish. I did, uh, 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 aside for the, uh, the building uh, the specialties I just mentioned, I, I needed help uh, for a few things. I did the uh, a wall furnace myself, and uh, that's that's the story. And I, I added on five hundred square feet. Sounds like a good project. Um, going back to the photo, I have a question. At what phase was this photo taken at then? Uh, can I see the photo? Okay, is this when phase... you were doing the trenches? I, I need to look at it again. Okay. Or I mean, what, what, at what point, this is before the addition, right? This is at the beginning. I lost your picture. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Go to maybe view on the upper right. Well, I'm clicking join, join meeting. Uh, I don't know. I... Okay, we're back after some technical difficulties. So I have a question about the photo. Um, at what point in the construction is the photo? This is early on, I okay. believe, right? Okay, you look, this is the back of my house and you know, that's me standing there with my hands on my uh, hips. Uh, Esther took this this picture and if 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 you look in the background behind me you can see the forms of the uh, foundation.
can can you see that yeah yeah so that's the new that's the yeah okay, that, that's, that. that's that's what i did with alan that's what i did with the with with, with alan so this was very early in uh in construction you just had to do the rest that uh <laughs> okay yeah there's a lot of uh a lot of other stuff that you had to do but it, it's a good thing that your skills or at least the uh ability to learn all of those uh, yeah. well, skills because i'm it, sure you did a it didn't job. go without it didn't go without mistakes that had to be corrected i didn't have to add that too well that's a learning uh, process okay here's the next picture these are in no particular order, incidentally. Okay. okay. Is, is that long enough? Yeah, that was good. Okay, that's of course, that's, that's me and my mother. Um, okay, this was taken this was taken, I had a mustache then. And the only time I had a mustache was in the early 19, let's see, 1982, 83, 84. Uh, I raised a mustache after I lost Esther. Uh, she never, uh, I tried to raise one, uh, when we were together and she didn't like it. So, uh, and of course that's my mother. Well, here, here's, here's the next one. Here's, here's the, here's the next one. So I don't That's, know who the who the person on the right is. Okay. Okay. That's that's me. And that's my cousin Dick. Okay. Okay. Now now you know who he is. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You okay? Now, the next one is of me. We we don't need that or. We can take a look at a photo of you. Okay. I now uh, here here's the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, count them. That's my grandson Douglas, his wife Denise. There's four kids standing, and she has one in the fifth one in her arms. Yep, that's a more recent photo, but uh, that, well, not completely recent. I believe they're even bigger than that now. Okay. But uh, <laughs> that's somewhere between 2005 and 2008, the year 2005 and 2008. Uh, the oldest one, uh, Jacob, is uh, 17 years old now. Eric is 16. Uh, Theodore is 15. Uh, there's three more uh, right offhand. I can't think of their names. Okay, the next one. Okay. Uh, this is a somewhat recent photo in the, uh,
Okay, this one actually on the back says Bob taking a break from painting early 1990s. Okay, you can see I have overalls on there. And uh, I, was, I was doing some painting in the den. And uh, Lucille probably took that picture. Probably because you had some, uh, possibly had some paint on your face or something. No, I have, thought it was amusing. Uh, yeah, I have overalls on. <laughs> I'm pretty well painted up. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show the, well, let's see. I'm not going to show the, the next one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what it is. I'm not sure what it is. This is okay. You see it. That's my first car. It's a nice looking car. What type of car is it? It's a 1930 Model A Roadster. Uh, it has a, a two speed Ruxel axle and a, uh, a modified Model A engine with a uh, third party uh, head on it. It was a real hot rod. Uh, most most model A's uh, had a small updraft carburetor. This one had a only head. It had a, a downdraft manifold with a carburetor meant to go on a Ford V8. Most models. Model A's had a top speed of about 40 miles an hour. Uh, I, I found the car oh, when I was going to school one day. I was, uh, how old was I? I was probably 17, well into my 17th year. I already had a driver's license. Uh, I think I've reiterated before about uh, delivering papers on my bike. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. But on this particular day, I I went to Fremont High School, which means I I had to take a streetcar on Vermont going south to Florence Avenue, and then then get off the streetcar and take a bus east to uh, San Pedro Street where Fremont was and then walk the two blocks south again on uh, San Pedro to Fremont High School that I, uh, that I attended. Well, anyway, coming home from school it was just the reverse. I was, school was over and I uh, walked to catch the bus going towards Vermont and I turned around and there was a small used car lot. And there was a sign on this car that said $69. Well, of course, $69 was a lot of money in uh, uh, <clears throat> 1930. Uh, 1939, 38, 39, I'm, I'm not sure. So I walked over and looked at it and, and a, a, eventually a salesman meandered over and uh, he showed me the car and uh, I, he showed me the engine. I says, oh, why, why if this is, so special, why is it being sold? 
and he told me, well, the, the original owner had raced it up, up on, he, he didn't say Murak Lake or and he gets set up on, on the desert. It, it had been raced up and he said, and uh, it was pretty well used up, he says, but it, but it ran, it, it still ran well if I, if you, if you didn't romp it up too much. But uh, because I was I'm still a, a minor then, of course, even though I had a driver's license, uh, he wouldn't let me drive it. So, uh, eventually, I got my dad up there, and uh, that that was pretty difficult to do because he was out of town most of the time driving a over the road truck. But eventually, I don't remember how it happened. I got him there. Uh, I had I had the sixty nine dollars. Incidentally, because I think we we, we reiterated how uh, I'd been working. Uh, back all these years and I, I had, I actually had almost $200 in savings then I believe. Uh, so that's how I got my Model A Ford. Okay, let's, let's go to the next, next one. Okay. Okay, this is a, a picture of my mother and father, and the guy in the middle is not me. That is Stanley, my cousin. Is he in uniform there? Yeah, he was in the Navy. I don't know where where I I I was then. I don't know how this picture got taken or who took it. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to show the other one. This is a an enlargement of the of the uh, picture I have. Of, uh, of my company at the San Diego Naval Training Station. If you remember 1995 birthday, you made something up of, uh, says, which one of these is Bob? Remember? No, no. Okay. Yes, it, it, from, it's I, group, I know the big picture that you're talking it, about, yes. A, yeah, it's from a group picture of, of my company. The training company, San Diego. Okay. This, this is an, an, an enlargement from, from that picture. I'm in the middle. That's an enlargement from the, uh, uh, the 160 man uh, company that, uh, I was in at the San Diego Naval Training Station. I'm in the middle. How long was boot camp? In boot camp, yeah. Is it at that time? Was it what, six weeks, eight weeks? What? How long was boot camp back then? Six weeks, eight weeks? <laughs> Approximately eight weeks, almost two months. Okay. Just. This is a picture of me uh, kind of a, a, a friend of ours was visiting who was in the, I believe in the Air Force. And I don't remember the circumstances. I, uh, I put his hat on, the service hat. He, he was in the Army Air Force and uh, I'm, I was saluting. I just don't remember the circumstances of that picture, but obviously it happened because there it was. 
is that uh, the house or anything? Is, you, do you know where that's no. taken at? No, no, that's, that's the house that was across the street of it on 8th Avenue. Okay. Okay, here's a, this was taken in 1944. When I, when I was in, in San Diego. Okay. Like a photo. Do they take photos of everyone? Like as you- Well, this, is, this is a portrait picture. Apparently I had it taken in San Diego. Oh, so you had, it wasn't the military that took it, you had huh? it taken. You had that taken, not the military taking it of you? No, this was not the military. I apparently had it taken in San Diego. <coughs> <coughs> okay. I'm, this is a picture of me, but I don't remember this where the circumstances are. I don't remember where the circumstances of, of, of this picture is. I can't tell you anything about it, where it was or when it was. What do you have in front of you? Is, huh? is it like a birthday or something or? I, I have no idea. I yeah, I was no. trying to figure out what was in front of you, but uh okay. <clears throat> this picture was taken at about the same time. I'm I'm 17 years old. It just says Bob at 17. And, and there I am. Bob at 17. It was taken approximately at the same time that the picture of my car was taken. It's a good looking photo of you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now here is here is an unusual picture. Okay. It's, it's my mother, Judy, and me, I don't, I don't recognize myself. Um, it, 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 the baby might be him, I'm not sure. Judy, my mother, myself, and Kim. And, uh, and I have to talk about the type of picture it, 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 it was. Okay. See it? Yeah, I see it. And I'm guessing that's probably Kim. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, the type of picture taken. Look at the back of the picture. It's a Polaroid. It's a, yeah, it's a instant picture. You took the picture and then the camera would grind away for five or 10 seconds while it produced the picture. And then it e ejected, ejected this. It's held up for pretty well for a Polaroid. I didn't think, for some reason, I thought they didn't. Uh last as long the photos but that was there it is good. there there it is the picture's 50 60 years old kim uh, was really young in that photo my yeah. mom was really young in that photo <laughs> okay. okay here's a picture this is uh, uh under an underexposed picture That's a picture of myself and uh, Sam. 
Yeah, it took me a second. I was like, who is that other person? But then I realized it was Sam. Yeah. Who I do remember in. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this is a picture, I believe, of May, Sam, and Sharon. Uh, apparently, this on is on an island in the Caribbean somewhere, where we went on a on a vacation. I'm not sure where it is or when it was taken. I can only only guess it was sometime in the 1970s though did you go on the vacation with them then to the uh, did you yeah. go on yeah so i probably took the picture who all who all would have gone on that uh trip was it did you guys okay, okay. Did you, would you have flown to the island or were we on a cruise we were on uh, a cruise we were on a cruise would would uh would uh my parent or it would have would my mom and Mark have been on that trip since Sharon was or was it just you know I, I, don't, I don't remember I just don't remember and this one is me and. Uh, Uh, apparently that's Judy. I I don't know who took the picture. It was probably Esther, though. Okay. It's a cute photo. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I touched my mouse. Okay, we're back again. Yeah. Ready to do more photos. Ready to do more. Okay, this is a picture of myself and Sarah when she graduated from high school in Denver. Okay. Nice photo. Yeah. Okay. This is a picture of, of the Columbine. Uh, I don't remember where it was it was taken, and uh, I can tell you a little story about the Columbine. The Columbine. I have a note on the back. It says the Columbine, but I can't read. It's my handwriting too. <laughs> yeah, oh, it says Eisenhower's plane. Okay. <clears throat> I went to work for Lockheed Aircraft Service in the fall of 1950, roughly three minutes, three months after uh, Esther and I were married. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I had a, a U.S. government license as a uh, licensed airframe and power plant specialist for what was, was then the Civil Aeronautics Authority, the CAA, which eventually, when the government was reorganized in the 1948 or 1949, it became the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration. Uh, I went to work for Lockheed Aircraft Service. Uh, I, st I st started there after the Korean War started because that's when uh, the aerospace industry became hot again. It, it, it kind of died in uh, the late 60s after the Apollo uh, project. Uh, all its development was finished and they were starting to land people on the moon. Uh, I left uh, uh, Rocket Dime. Uh, but when I went to work for, I checked that this was before Rocket Dine. This was before Rocket Dine. Okay. I was working at the Lockheed Aircraft Service, and we would get his airplane, the Columbine, in about four times a year, every every three months or so, to do routine maintenance on it and also updates on the airplane updates is with a continually <clears throat> ongoing thing for uh, almost all aircraft uh, so i uh, uh I don't know how I got on the crew. I, as an as an individual working there, I I I would see the airplane come in. It would go into a a smaller hangar, and then it would come out again. And then one day, I was I was working out on the flight line. One day, a messenger came in and said they wanted to see me in the office. So uh, it, it was my supervisor's office, and I went in there, and he told me uh, that they had been checking up on me. Uh, I, a security clearance had come through for me to work on the airplane. So apparently what was happening, they were picking out certain guys there. Uh, not everybody passed the security, but I did. So then I left that department and went into a specialty department. I'm not sure, of, sure about uh, details on it. Uh, I had various assignments on the airplane especially doing modifications. And that even included the toilet. <laughs> what did you have to do to the toilet? Huh? What did you have to do to the toilet? Just updates. Just updating, make it a better one. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the plane was originally built with a toilet and then after it was built, uh, either better equipment came along or they found out there were mistakes in what they did, whatever, whatever it was, it had to be be updated. So I did every everything from in, installing uh, uh, new plumbing in the toilet to installing uh, uh, government sensors on the airplane. Um, that's I I I don't remember much about that. That's okay. neat that you got to uh, work on yeah. that. It's a uh, okay. bit of history. Here's a picture of Esther and myself. Uh, now this, 
because um, this was a, I'm trying to figure out what kind of paper this is. This is regular paper. I have to assume that I must have printed this out of a, uh, on, I don't, there's nothing on the back. I have no information, um, but that's, I have, I have no idea what it is, when it was taken or what, but that's me and Esther. Is that, that's Lucille, no? No. Um, I'll take that back, that, that, that is Lucille. Shame on me. Okay. Now, this one you'll, you'll recognize. That's, that's me and your sister. I don't recognize her at all. You don't recognize her? I'm just joking. It's Kim. <laughs> okay. Do you remember when that was from? I don't remember. Well, it was in the same group of photos as these. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. You, you remember this one. That's you. That is that was, my graduation. But I'm not sure which graduation it was. The colors whether, tell me whether, it's whether, high it, school. It, 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 high school? That, that the colors tell me it's high school. Okay. That's uh, see me high. Okay. This this one is of, of Douglas when he graduated high school in Denver. And this is another one of you. Wait, just. That's the same one as earlier. Yeah. Or similar at least. Okay. Now this this next I looked one, young back then. Okay, this next one you'll you'll recognize. That's me, you, Anna, and on uh, your side, Jackson. Yeah, and I'm trying to remember where this uh, is from. I, I remember when, but I'm not sure where. Okay. And do you, when, when was that taken? Do you, do you remember? It was, I mean, Jackson's, it was before Graham. Well, I would judge maybe that Jackson might be six years old. How, how, how old was I, Jackson when Graham was born? He was almost five. So I, I think five. Graham is, or Jackson's probably, actually okay. probably about three or four there. I was just... Yeah, I don't know where I remember where that's from. That's okay. Okay. This, we can move this on. must have been before. Okay. One, two, three, four, 
five. One, two, three. This is a picture of me, Mark, uh, Douglas, and his five kids. See it? Yep. Okay. Okay. This this one is in Washington State in the Tri Cities area. I don't remember the city it was in, but it's a picture of Douglas and his first child, Jake, Jacob. Bob, Doug, Jake, and Mark. Okay. That's a nice picture of the four generations. Yeah. There. Okay, now. Okay, this. That's a picture of my ship, the USS LST 208. You can see it there. Yep. It's a nice photo. We actually yeah. talked about the LST last time during the other photo session. Okay. It, so I'm not going to ask you any details on it. it so we okay. talked about it for a while. <laughs> it's actually pretty interesting. Okay. It's a uh, picture was taken in December of 1945 in, uh, on the uh, river that goes through Shanghai. I can't remember the name of the river, Wang Pu or something like that. Uh, I I think we we I talked about this. What happened after the war? Yeah, we talked last at the last time we showed you showed the photo last at our last meeting, uh, did, and we talked did, all did, about it. Did did I did, about the ship? Yep, did I show talked, the picture? Did I, I showed show the picture. Yeah, you showed us the picture and we talked okay. about it for actually quite a while. Um, okay. All sorts of interesting details. So I'm gonna, um, gonna okay. keep you from going into more details. We can, okay. you know, it's, yeah, it's interesting. Okay, here's the next picture. That's a picture of, of myself and Shirley. Taken in 1941. You both look so young there. What? You both look so young there. It was taken in 1941. I know. Right. I'm just okay. saying it looks, okay, you know, and Shirley I, looks, I, I don't, I haven't she, seen as many photos of Shirley when she's. Okay. She was 20 years old then, and I was 18. And obviously before I went in the server, I, 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 I might've been 17 at the time. Okay. Okay. This is a that's a picture of my mother. Uh, don't know when or where. Okay. This is a picture of Esther. Okay. This was taken probably in early 1962. Uh, 
the previous picture of me showed the me standing in front of the forms where the foundation was poured. And this picture shows the foundation having been poured and getting ready to pour the slab on top of it. Is she helping out in that photo or is she just posing? Uh, can't answer that. She's she's looking somewhere else rather than in the camera. Um, I, I, I don't remember what she was doing. Uh, when, I, when I was working outside, uh, she, she would come out a lot and she would help me. And so apparently I'm, I'm leveling the area there to uh, uh, pour the slab. Incidentally, if if you look to well, if you look to the left in that picture, there's a big pile of dirt. Jump again. Okay, a big pile of dirt on the left, and that was the dirt that was removed for the swimming pool. Uh, as I said earlier in this session, for $2,500, I got, uh, it went a long way towards building the uh, addition to my house in addition, and in addition to that, putting in a swimming pool. I augmented that by a few hundred dollars, actually. Okay. Uh, damn it, I, 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 I lost you again. And we're back. Okay, now let's, let's look this, at this again. That's me. Okay. Do you, have a, do you have a toy gun in your hand? Okay. Uh, all I can tell you about that is pants are too short for me. Uh, that was, I'm five years old then. It says Bob, 1929. So that would put me at five years old in Chicago. Do you have a toy gun in your hand? Huh? Do you have a toy gun in your hand? In your hand, what do you have in your hand? In the photo? Or are you just pointing? There. Yeah, you have a like a toy gun, correct? I have a toy gun. Yeah. That's a little bit. I uh, obviously we're, uh, we're downstairs. We live in an apartment over a store in Chicago, I'm 69th and Racine, either 59th or 69th and Racine. And I'm apparently um, in the back behind our building and uh, can't tell you anything else about the picture. Okay, this, this one is another, this is, This is the the other picture. That's an, this is the original that the other picture was made from. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, do you remember Beulah? Yeah, uh, she was friends with your mother. My mother. <clears throat> Actually, 
Let me talk a little bit about her. Okay. <clears throat> My mother had cousins. Uh, their name was uh, Grossman. I, I, I forget their first uh, name. Lou, Lou Grossman, and what was his wife's? Lou Grossman, I forget what his wife's name was. And they had a son named Stanley. And, and Stanley, all he could talk about, he couldn't play a music, he couldn't play an instrument, he couldn't sing, he couldn't read music, but he wanted to become a band leader. That's, and that's all he, he dreamed about. And you know what a kazoo is? Yeah, I know what a kazoo is. Yeah, well, he would play, it was the only instrument he could play. He would play a, a, a kazoo. And he, he, he was gonna get his own orchestra and he was gonna be called Stan Lewis, Stan Lewis and his orchestra. That's, that's all I, I can remember about him. Now, now uh, Beulah was adopted by the Grossmans. I do, I, I, I have no uh, memory of how the Grossmans adopted her or what, but she was married to a guy named Julius Mitchell. Now, we never knew it at the time, but Julius was an, an electronic wizard. And in the very 1930s, uh, we all re remember the court on, on the 62nd Street we lived in? Well, Beulah and Julius lived in the same court in, in another unit. And there were a long there were uh, roughly 18 or 20 of, of these little buildings in the court. And they had a long driveway behind them with their long row of garages. Uh, again, maybe the same number of garages as there were bungalows. So everybody had a garage. <clears throat> uh, Julius, uh, took possession of the garage and he built an amateur radio station. And I even remember the, the name of a W6MPK, Mighty Powered Kid is what the MPK, he took that as a uh, slogan for himself. And he would be in there all night long uh, talking to the world, talking to, literally speaking, talking to the world. And Julius had a big problem and that was he drank. So he would uh, be out in the garage all night long talking to the world and drinking. Okay, uh, they, had a child, the name was Warren, and Beulah was a terrible mother. Without being terrible, she left him alone quite a bit. Uh, my memory is a little fuzzy about their relationship, but I, but I know it, it, it wasn't good. It just wasn't good. And, uh, Anyway, that's that's a uh, Beulah and Julius eventually broke up. Uh, I don't know what what happened to Warren, but I I suspect his life was was not a good one. And is the 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 gentleman in the photo is that Julius? No, the gentleman in the photo, take another good look. 
That's sorry. I was only looking at the lady or we're, that's Beulah. That's you. That's, that's me. Beulah. That's, that's me you. Sorry. Me. I was I I wasn't paying attention to the to the person in it, to the other to the to you in the photo. I was trying yeah, to figure out who the lady was. That's that's me and Beulah. Okay, before we get going, because we're getting okay. later, do you still have a lot of photos left? Should we do another? Oh, okay, uh, okay. I I've got the last photo. I I I think we'll let's see. Okay, down. Remember, I talked about the house on Corona Street, 1457 Corona. Mm -hmm. Well, there it is. That's where I was born. That's where I was born and lived the first four years, four and a half years of my life. Nice house. Okay, and here's here's another one with a bunch of people in front of it. Let's see, fourteen fifty seven Corona Street. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six people in there, and left to right on top. It was Bertha and Leopold, my grandparents. And to their right is Molly. Then in front on the left is Dewey, my dad and Seal. This is a good photo. We saw this one last time, but it's still nice to see it again. Oh, I've already shown you this. Okay. That's okay. We can see it again. It's okay. Okay. I, I, I like seeing photos, but uh Okay. Then then these last few photos apparently is, is where we started on a previous uh session. Those cool. four last four or five photos were the first I apparently showed you on the last session. That's why they were on the bottom. That works. <clears throat> okay. It's 1030, I think. Uh, we can wrap this one up. Unless you have some more questions. No, no, I'm good on this one. Uh, there's a lot of photos. It actually, this is great. I, I enjoy it. Okay, I, I have a whole full, another folder of photos. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, like I'd, I'd like to eventually go through them. Um, we'll discuss what we want to do for next time, but okay. I'd love to see more photos. Um, I actually really enjoy. So doing shall these. we wrap this one up? Yep. Have a good. Uh, have a good week. Yeah. And you uh, too. we'll try you to too. resume very soon. Yeah. Hopefully not a two month break. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.